guys, Etika from the Etika World Network and before we get into this video, a lot of you guys are asking me if I was okay and don't worry, my chest thing, it's, it's bad but it's getting a little bit better. I went to the doctor and I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about this later on but things are being put into some kind of perspective. Anyways, now, if you haven't heard, um, a few minutes ago, I think about 15 minutes ago because I was, I was online as soon as it happened, some new information from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was revealed and I, I had to make a video on it as soon as I saw it because one of my favorite Pokemon in third gen and in general has just gotten a mega evolution confirmed for themselves we're, we're on Cerebi right now we're about to look at some of this information that came out so you dudes can read through with it you dudes can read through it as I read through it because I haven't really seen this official Cerebi website yet when this information was posted I just got a heads up from somebody anyways let's take a look at what's going on so um, Friday Pokemon X and Y blah blah, blah. okay anyways so the, um, the next batch of Coral Coral information has been posted to Japanese forums and this batch showcases more information about the upcoming game Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This reveals Mega Altaria who is Dragon Fairy with Pixel Weight. <laughs> Niggas been wanting this. As soon as Pokemon X and Y was revealed, a lot of people were pissed off that Altaria wasn't revealed to be a fairy because, you know, it kind of has a lot of those fairy attributes. But, um, Dragon Fairy typing, well, it looks like, um, Mr. Masa, um, no, excuse me, not Masa here. It looks like, um, it looks like Masuda is listening to people, so you know Altaria gets a mega evolution, which is something people wanted, and on top of it all, it's Dragon Fairy with Pixely. I'm tired of that goddamn combination, but you know, it works. It, it wrecks shit though. Um so we have um, Mega Altaria who as you guys can see Oh fuck this shit. Alright, we gotta go back. But um we got Mega Altaria. And um, next we also have Mega Lopany. Now Mega Lopany is one of my favorite Pokemon ever ever and it's an amazing pokemon in itself because it has a lot of tools in its advantage but god damn it gets a mega evolution which kind of defeats the purpose of its initial use with the whole with the whole trickaroo thing and not being affected by it but anyways so um we got mega lopany now who's going to be a normal fighting type pokemon with the scrappy ability so it'll be able to hit ghost with normal and fighting moves that is amazing it also confirms that when you change your pikachu's clothes for contest it gets special moves pikachu rockstar gets the move meteor mash pikachu phd learns the move electric terrain Popstar Pikachu learns Draining Kiss, and Pikachu Bell learns Icicle Crash, and Pikachu Libre learns Flying Press. Mega Salamence is also confirmed and has Aerial 8! Holy shit, nigga! This shit is live! It's gonna be loud! Holy... I'm trying not to wake niggas up. I'm, I'm trying not to wake niggas up. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. I'm... Mega Salamence? Alright, we gotta look at some pics. Let's look at some pics. Alright, so we got Mega Alteria here who's looking incredible. You guys are seeing this? This, well, then again, no, you don't really look too impressive. You just look like Altaria, but with more feathers and a hat. Yeah, never mind. Mega Altaria is nothing special to look at, but cool stats, well, cool ability and typing. Mega Lopany, though. That fighting timing is definitely going to be appreciated with some of the stabs, because Mega, because regular Lopany actually gets access to Drain Punch. Mega Lopany is no doubt going to get a boost to its attack stat. Look at this thing. This thing looks amazing. Like, holy shit. I mean, it does look. Wow. Yeah, it looks like a Lopany with just different coloring, but it's still really cool to see that you know Lopany's getting some love. I mean, this is one of my favorite Pokemon. Even though I haven't used it that recently, I wanted to. But um, Mega Lopany, man. Oh god, I can already imagine all the goddamn porn art that's gonna be coming out of this Pokemon. <laughs> Next we have um, the, P the Pikachus in the different costumes that learn the different moves, so you know, that's, that's pretty cool, you know, I, even though I kind of don't understand how this works out, but hey. And they're, oh, and they're confirmed. Oh, one other thing that's confirmed is that the Pikachus in different costumes will be usable in battle. We thought it was only going to be Pokemon and me. No, they will have these costumes even when they go into the match. Mega Salamence. Look at this thing. It looks like a spaceship. This kind of puts me in mind of Mega Latios and Latias. They kind of look like spaceships as well, too. But Mega Salamence, though, what the fuck? This thing looks crazy. Yo, you dudes seeing this, man? This thing looks amazing. Look, look like a spaceship. I don't understand what it is with making Pokemon. First, we got Metagross, who looks like something out of Starship Enterprise. And now you have goddamn Mega Salamence, who, who, who basically looks like he, he, he looks like a fucking UFO. Look at this guy. I mean, it's cool. I like it. But whoa, does he be turned like Dragon Steel or something? Look at this guy. Does he turn Dragon Steel? 
He, man, that would be amazing if he did, because he kind of has the metal part around his body. And um, that's all for the pictures that we have. Is is it updating as we go? Yup, it's updating as we go. You guys just saw the page just updated. I'm on top of this shit. Let's, keep, let's take a look at the new stuff that was revealed. Um, Mega Salamance was also confirmed with the ability Aerialate, which is going to be insane. Then again, what, what flying type moves does Salamence have? It doesn't have Brave Bird. If it did, oh god. If it learns, oh god. Oh, um, anyways. Contests are detailed. When, when With you meeting a contest idol called Lucia, <laughs> Lucia, who will give you special clothes for participating in Pokemon contests, you also receive a shiny Beldum in-game. Okay, and then we have this Mega Metagross. This is a shiny Mega Metagross too, so that's pretty damn cool looking. Um, very interesting. If you guys don't know, Mega Metagross is confirmed to have the ability Tough Claws. And um, let's see, is there any other information here? This page is updating as we go along. So, you know, I'm just trying to make sure I'm staying on top of these things. If anything, once this video is done, I'll be able to post updates in the description for you guys so you can stay up to date with what's going on, what's being released. I mean, although you can just go to Cerebi your fucking self, but I mean, I guess you guys kind of want to see my take on it. This information is cool. Uh, Mega Altaria looks lame. Well, it doesn't look lame, but it looks like there's pretty much no big additions to its design other than maybe being bigger, having more feathers, and a little hat made of feathers on top of it all. Well, cloud. Um, mega, mega, um... Mega Lopini is definitely probably going to be my favorite reveal from this batch of core core information because that's fighting typing Who doesn't appreciate having fighting typing added on? You know you resist rock typing I mean that, it's gonna help it's gonna help Lopini in a lot of ways because I'm thinking of a lot of stabs Lopini has drain punch and I've used that Lopini set before it's gonna get a boost to its attack It's gonna get a boost to its speed and Lopini already has a lot of shit up its sleeve and what was its ability going to be again? Lopini's ability was going to be um, scrappy, which kind of a little that kind of hurts a little bit because um the last ability like regular Lopini it has a couple of abilities that are really useful for it like um for example regular Lopini can get um, limber which prevents paralysis good in some scenarios and Lopini also has access to um to klutz which means that the item that it's holding doesn't affect it so that means that you can go in there with a choice scarf set with Trickaroo and use different moves and bluff the Choice Scarf, you know, even though the Choice Scarf wouldn't affect your speed, but Lopini's plenty fast. Anyways, so, um, this was the new information that was revealed. I'm really excited for this. You know, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire hasn't really been getting that much news lately. I mean, in general, the news feed for Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire has kind of been lacking. Nintendo hasn't really, really, well, I shouldn't say, maybe I should say the Pokemon Company. They haven't been releasing too much press hype to get people like really live on Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So whenever any news comes out, it's really great to see. I'm glad this game is still being progressed really well. We got some new Megas under the sleeve and we got Mega Salamence looking like a goddamn UFO. I don't know what the fuck's going on.